one here. I'm uh, 15 years old and I'm a student of 10th class. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I'm not supposed to be here today, but you will get to know about later in the story. So my story name is uh, titled Priorities, and you must be all thinking what a 15 year old has to do with priorities and stuff like that. But someone great actually once said that I'm quite mature for my age. And then again, she was 18 plus since standard 5 and that's none other than Sarazi. She's my bestie, my senior, my everything. And she told me and I guess it is true. Uh, coming on to the story, I started following half big beans a uh, while uh, back. And when I saw that they were hosting an open mic, I just had to participate, I had to. There was no hodgepodge, no hitch kitch, no wicks needed. I, I just had, had to. But uh, when I saw the date of the event, all hell went loose. I mean, I could actually hear Ekta Kapoor's dhin ta -na 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 -na, dhin ta -na -na going in the background. You know, that thunder and lightning across my face. And my face froze for a second. That went black and white. Yeah. And the date was 23rd of July. And that's the date exactly before my exams. So tomorrow, I have exams, but I'm still here today. So I am... <laughs> Confused than ever, I don't know what I'll do. I asked everybody, my sister, my friends, everybody. But nobody gave me a definite answer, you know. So I just convinced myself that I should stay at home, stay at home at Sunday, all day and just read for my exams. You know, maybe it's for the best. But then a white ray of light came into my life. Actually, it was a phone notification, but still. It was uh, my sir, uh, he messaged me, my sir, so he's my guru, my mentor, my guide, my everything. He asked me that whether I'm participating or not. And I messaged him about my so-called great dilemma and all. And then I went to sleep. And strangely that night, I had a dream. And not that the dream was weird because uh, I don't usually have dreams. I am a person who sleeps like a lifeless body. The whole world would drown, I wouldn't notice about anything about her. And uh, when I, uh, I I saw that dream that I was in my coaching where Sir teaches and he was just leaving and some idiotic person just pushed me, I tripped over and I knocked, off, knocked over his helmet. And when I gave it back to him, he just brushed it off and didn't say anything. But then he said really something. He actually recited something to be specific. He said a beautiful poem about a helmet and I just stood there looking at him stunned and I thought if he could say something so beautiful about a helmet, I could go out there and speak my heart to everyone, right? And then I woke up with a joy and I like, wow. And then I started searching for my phone because that's what everybody does. So uh, uh, the first thing, believe it or not, my eyes landed on was in that pitch black, black darkness was a message from sir. Uh, he had replied, he said, it doesn't matter, but your priorities matter. And it hit me like a cricket ball. I knew what I had to do. So the bottom line is, I've always put exams, studies over everything else, even before my family. And in that process, I've missed so many things, so many things that I regret missing. So I thought, why not break that tradition for a little bit of while? And considering that I'm a 10th grade student, I should put studies over everything else. But I love speaking. I have a passion for speaking and I've never got the chance to speak such a great audience. And I really like it. I love it. And Sir so said that time will not always support you. Hence, we need to support time. And I'm following every bit of it. So, you be my audience and see that if I set my priorities right or not. Thank you.